I would like to introduce the concept of a model to you very briefly. A model is just an equation that represents a real world situation. So in the video on the frequency, I looked at a model. A model is simply an equation where all of the variables represent real world quantities. In the video where I introduced the frequency, I introduced the idea that the relationship between time and the volume of blood in a human heart, that is periodic. And if your heart rate is 70 beats per minute, Here's an equation relating the number of seconds that have passed to the amount of blood in your heart, assuming that at time zero, there is a full 140 milliliters of blood in your heart. This isn't a modeling class, so we're not going to discuss how to create models in depth. I will give you the warning that I gave any student when I first introduce models, no matter what class it's in that all models are going to be incorrect to some degree, because all models are approximations based on false assumptions. And that's inevitable. Life's just too complex to write down equations for. So for example, this model, is based on some assumptions. To start with, we assume that when my heart is full of blood, it contains exactly 140 milliliters of blood. And that's not true. This is the human average, but my heart could contain a little more or a little less. It makes the assumption that every time my heart beats, exactly half of that is pumped out. Again, that's not going to be perfectly true. It's just the human average. And it makes the assumption that my heart rate is a perfectly constant 70 beats per minute. That's not true either. Even if you're at rest, there are slight variances in your heart rate. So we take these false assumptions, the equation we get from them must also be false. And that doesn't mean that mod things useless or nobody would do it. It's just something to be aware of that if you're working with models, you're only approximating reality. Yeah. 